What's good everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to react to the 13 countries that love and support India by Brightside. I think that this video will have to do a lot with geopolitics and history. And since I don't know a lot about, you know, the history of the Asian countries, I can't guess which country can be friends with India and can be enemy with India. Except for Pakistan. I think that they're not getting along, you know. But I don't know when this started. So, you know, let's check it out, guys. Let's see which countries do love India. Ah, uh, India. The land of wonders, don't you think so? Well, if you've ever been to this country, or maybe you're only thinking about visiting it, then you're bound to fall in love with it. On a larger scale, that is, when we're talking about whole nations, not just tourists, there's a lot of love for India as well. I guess. So, which countries share affection with the land of spices? Is well, it called like there's that? The number spices? one, Afghanistan. Wow, oh, okay. Relations between India and Afghanistan and have been so friendly for decades. Makes sense. India was among the first to recognize the republic in the 1980s, and since then, they've been really close, giving each other a helping hand when needed. Afghanistan knows it can always rely on India as a partner, and perhaps even a mentor, because it was its greatest helper in troublesome times. In peaceful times, India hasn't neglected its partner either building schools and roads, That's what sponsoring scholarships, and providing other aid. In 2007 yeah. and 2008, the government of Afghanistan even called India the country's most cherished partner and a brother country to their own. If that's not true affection, then I don't know what is. That's pretty cool. Number 2. Myanmar Sharing a 1,020-mile-long border, India and Myanmar, or as I've it was formerly called Burma, oh, have Burma, strong yeah. historical okay. bonds. So naturally, they can't but have at least some kind of a relationship. Some kind isn't enough to describe these two nations, though, because they have a warm friendship between them. Despite the troubles Myanmar has had in the 20th century, India has always been there for its neighbor, forever supporting and inspiring them. And since 1993, the relations between the countries have been steadily improving. Today, India is the largest buyer of Burmese goods, and they've even built a huge three-sided highway connecting India, Myanmar, and wow. Thailand. Hey, friendship supporting infrastructure. That's awesome. That's awesome. Number three, Maldives. Oh, Maldives. What comes to your mind when you think of Maldives? Beautiful Vacations. blue waters, cozy little bungalows, warm tropical sun ah yes a true island paradise well this country also happens to be located in the indian ocean and it has a very oh, wow. special relationship with india to start with india was the first to recognize the independence of maldives in 1966 when it broke off from great britain i guess getting some recognition is a good start if you want to become friends with someone exactly and the two nations did become close partners for more than 50 years, they've been cooperating on issues both big and small. What's more, India even takes part in ensuring the security of Maldives. Well, how That's neighborly cool. of them. Yeah. Number four, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. India is Sri Lanka's one and only neighbor, separated from it by the Balk Strait. Ah, that is a different country? I thought that it was part of India. Wow, I never heard of the country before. This and many other factors made it obvious that the two countries should work together to achieve great things. And they sure did. Despite the numerous problems and tensions they had between them before, India and Sri Lanka's relations have improved a lot in recent decades. For example, after a 2004 earthquake in Sri Lanka, India was the fastest to react and help its neighbor. I think this is enough about how much they care and I'm sure the future is only bright for these two neighboring nations. 5. Australia Wow! Given that both India and Australia belong to the Commonwealth of Nations, it isn't at all strange that they have a lot in common. They both once belonged to the British Empire, so there are lots and lots of cultural links between the countries. In particular, cricket and field hockey are two sporting passions they share that came from the... 
Okay, I never watched this video before, but if he is mentioning the country from the Commonwealth, I would not be surprised if the next country will be South Africa or New Zealand or some countries from the Commonwealth too. This is just, you know, logical thinking. But yeah, let's continue. Time of colonization. In fact, cricket is so popular in both India and Australia that the national teams often tour each other's countries. Wow. And probably the best thing about it is that the most talented young Indian cricket players get scholarships to I train at the Australian cricket. cricket Academy. I don't know the rules, I don't know Looks like friendships can sport. open a lot of great opportunities. Number six, Japan. Japan, wow. History proves that nothing could lessen the warmth between Japan and India. I mean, Japan actually imposed sanctions on India at one point in the late 90s. But even this didn't weaken the bonds connecting the two. They really are a great example of strong cooperation and partnership, with Japanese corporate giants like Sony and Suzuki building their manufacturing facilities in India. But perhaps the most important gesture of goodwill was made in 2008. The two countries signed an agreement, according to which India received a loan of $4.5 billion to build a high-speed railway connecting Delhi and Mumbai. Of course, the loan was to be returned. Who would even think about giving away such a sum? Yeah. But the interest on it was really low. Hey, special conditions for your pals, right? That's for sure. <laughs> Number 7. Singapore. Singapore. With its position as a hugely important trading post, Singapore was rather vulnerable when it gained independence in 1965. All kinds of countries wanted it to become part of them, but only India offered a helping hand and an alliance, not a merger. Since then, Singapore and India have maintained a warm relationship. In fact, Singapore has become one of the largest trade partners to India, and they both enjoy mutual import and export of each other's goods. Number 8. Thailand as I said earlier, India has built a three-sided highway connecting it with Myanmar and Thailand. This is thanks to an interesting fact. Since 1991, India has employed the Look East policy, which means that it's been trying hard to achieve good relations with the countries of Southeast Asia. That's At the same thing. time, Thailand employed its Look West policy, which was basically the same as the Indian effort, but in the opposite direction. So naturally, the countries met halfway, strengthening their bonds with all kinds of agreements. Historically though, these two nations also have a lot in common. India had a huge influence on Thailand's culture, and some of its ethics are even taught in Thai schools. You know, that's a really cool level of trust. Number 9. South Korea South Korea. I knew that. Relations between India and how, South Korea actually that. began as far back as 2,000 years. It's believed that Princess Hyo, a legendary queen of Korea, came from a distant land to marry King Suro, and that land was most probably India. Anyway, a lot of things happened since then, and today the Indian-Korean friendship is at its highest. Any South Korean citizen can travel to India without a visa and receive it upon arrival to the country. As for trade, in the last few decades, it's been growing at a number 10. Jamaica. Jamaica. Jamaica is another country on my list that's had many ties to so India since India. the times of the British Empire. Like Australia, okay. Jamaica belongs to the Commonwealth of Nations. Okay. And some that would say, most sense. importantly, they like cricket. How can they not be close with such similarities? Anyway, India buys almost everything that Jamaica exports. And that alone is reason enough for their relationship to be cordial. They support each other whenever they can, and that's an example of real friendship between nations. Number 11. France. What? Surprised? Yeah. Well, you shouldn't be, <laughs> since Indian relations with European countries are also rather warm, and this especially concerns France. For centuries, the two nations have kept strong cultural and trading ties. And since 1998, they've also become strategic partners. France is, in fact, one of the few countries that seem to support India in all of its endeavors. Both countries have a particular day. Okay, 
this is very surprising to me because I never heard, you know, the media here in France talk about this relationship. All I know is that India purchased a lot of uh, military technology from France. But I didn't know that they have all around a good relationship. So, yeah, that's good. They dedicated to each other and they describe their partnership as a special relationship, okay. which means a lot in the diplomatic language. Number 12, the UK. Of course, huh. I gotta mention the UK here. The two countries' strong ties are the result of British colonization, which ended in 1947, but still left a significant trace. The number of British Indian citizens is steadily growing. Today, there are about 2 million Indian people living permanently in the UK. That's a lot. The two countries are really close and respectful toward each other. They've not forgotten their past, but they have shown that cooperation and partnership can overrule anything. In 2010, the UK's Prime Minister at the time said that India and the United Kingdom have a new special relationship. Ah, there's that uh -huh. diplomatic language again. Yeah. Before the revelation of the 13th country, I want to tell you how I feel about the relationship between India and the UK and India with France. I think that this friendship is not a real friendship, to be honest. I think it's just a friendship. It's a question of interest. You know, India is now a powerful country. And I am 100% certain that even the other countries are friends with India. Like countries, I don't know, like Germany, like the USA, because they don't have a choice. You have to respect the country because it is a powerful country, you know? But real friendships are the friendship that India has with Singapore, with Afghanistan, with South Korea, with Japan. These friendships are just, are just true, you know, are genuine. But with Western countries, it's just a question of interest. I compare the Western countries to gold diggers, in fact. Yeah, because when you are broke, you know, when you are down, nobody wants to hang with you, you know. But when you hit the jackpot, now they are all over you, you know. They want to be friends with you, they want to hang out with you. Ah, they're acting like bitches. <laughs> Sorry for that. Now let's continue. Number 13. Oh my god. Iran. Iran. India and Iran have a history of disagreements in many areas, but their current relations are pretty much cordial and warm. A public poll conducted in 2005 showed that 71% of Iranians viewed India positively, which is definitely the overwhelming majority. On a larger scale, the two nations have been close. Hold on. Does that mean Russia is not a friend with India? This is just... I do not understand that. Because I know that nowadays Russia and India has, you know, a very, very strong ties. And they are, both of them are part of the BRICS, you know? The international economic organization that includes, I think, Brazil, uh, China, Russia, South Africa, and India. B R I. Yeah. So I am very surprised to see that Russia is not included on the list. If someone can explain that to me in the comment section, please go ahead. Let's continue. Partners in trade, strategy, and energy relations. And that's despite all their differences and views on the global arena. I guess they really are like friends, disagreeing on some terms, but still sticking together. So, what are some of the nations your country is friends with? Sound off in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click the subscribe button to stay on the bright okay, side so of life. Yeah, this is a very interesting video. I was a bit surprised to see by some countries that made the list especially the UK and France, but for the other countries, I understand, yeah, some are neighbors, some, you know, are part of the Commonwealth countries, so yeah, it makes sense. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye.